So let's take a closer look at insulin from the pancreas. So what is insulin? Insulin is a hormone. And you think about hormones, think about like teenagers with raging hormones. Testosterone is a hormone. Estrogen is a hormone. But insulin is also a hormone. And what is a hormone? It is simply a chemical messenger. So it's made from one organ, it's released by that organ, it travels to other parts of the body and tells other organs what to do. It's a chemical messenger, okay? Um, insulin is made in the pancreas, and what I'm showing you here is that pan the pancreas lies here, so pretty close to the stomach and the small intestine. Here's the liver for reference. And if you were to look at a closer uh, section of the pancreas, so here's the pancreas here. Um, if you were to slice the pancreas and look at it head on, what you will see are there are, there are cells that make insulin. And the cells that make insulin are called beta cells. So if you ever, I don't know, learned a little bit more about diabetes, you'll learn about uh, the concept of a beta cell. And the beta cell makes insulin in response to the sugar that it sees in circulation. Um, and you can see here on this cartoon rendition of the cross section of the pancreas, the beta cells here that make insulin are, you know, are blue in color and I guess are supposed to be healthy. Um, and in type one diabetes, which is a, is a disease where you lose your beta cells, you can, the beta cells are now gray and, and apparently dead, um, but the beta cells are, are literally lost in type one diabetes. So the cells that make insulin are deficient in diabetes. Um, so so in, a, in a, non, a person without diabetes, the pancreas will make insulin. This insulin will tell the organs to take up the sugar. The most important organs that take up sugar are the muscle, okay? So the muscle takes up about 80% of the sugars that you get from your, the food, okay? Because the muscles are, they need to do a lot of work and they need a lot of sugar. The other important organ is the liver, okay? The liver does a lot of things in the body, but one important task is that it stores the extra sugar from your meal so that you can tap into it when you're not eating for a long period of time. So it stores the extra sugar. It's the only place where you store extra sugar is the liver. Um, the muscles can store sugar, but it can't share it with other organs. The liver can do it. It can release the extra sugar that it's stored and give it to other organs. So the muscle and the liver respond very powerfully to insulin because insulin tells the muscle and the liver, take up the sugar that's coming from this food. Um, and insulin, this is an analogy you might have heard from a diabetes educator. This is, this is the way we like to explain it. But insulin is kind of like a key and it opens the door to the cell so the glucose can go inside. And unless the insulin is there, the glucose cannot actually get inside the muscle or the liver cell where it needs to be for energy. Okay, so insulin is like a, it permits the uptake of glucose into the organs. It also permits the uptake of fats into fat cells. So insulin does a few more things, but the most important thing is it allows your body to take up glucose into the organs that need it. Now, when you don't have insulin, the organs cannot take up the glucose. And so instead of the glucose going inside the muscle and in going inside the liver, it stays in the bloodstream, in circulation. That's why when you test your blood sugars, when you have diabetes, it's high, right? There's a lot of sugar in the bloodstream. It's not where it's supposed to be. It's in the bloodstream and not inside the organs where it's meant to be used. Does that make sense? And so your body has a high concentration of glucose in, in the bloodstream where you can test it and because the body doesn't really like to have a lot of glucose in the bloodstream where it's not really meant to be, it tries to get rid of it. And so it tries to urinate it out. And that's why when you have high blood sugars, one of the symptoms is a lot of urination and dehydration and then thirst. Okay, so your body's trying to compensate for the high sugar levels in the bloodstream. Furthermore, <laughs> the, the, bloods, the blood vessels 
are not meant to harbor all that glucose, and the glucose does damage to those blood vessels, and that's what leads to the complications of diabetes. And so the small blood vessels of the eyes, the small blood vessels of the kidneys, um, the small blood vessels that, fuel, that feed the nerves get damaged early on. Then the big vessels that supply the heart and the brain get, also get damaged because the sugars themselves are really not meant to be in the bloodstream. But that's where they lay when there's not enough insulin around.